Hello everyone, Pentuf here today for an exciting preview because today we talk about the Poodle which is a tier 6 premium polish tank and the first polish tank to ever be implemented in the game. This tank is going to be available during the 7.3 update only for testers as it's still in test but as it's a tier 6 and it's quite easy to make it balance I think we can expect the tank for maximum 7.5 or 7.6 update and oh boy do for those of you who are actually playing World of Tank PC, you know this tank is really, really good, so let's not lose too much time and jump directly into the statistics. Concerning the statistics of the tank, you have 8 degrees of gun depression, 160 alpha damage, 150 millimeters of penetration with standard shells, 4 seconds of aiming time, 0.32 gun dispersion and around 5.2 seconds of reload. Most of you have already seen, at least I hope, that this tank's gun is really similar to the one you have on the Chromal B, the tier 6 British premium tank. The main difference between both tanks is that on the Poodle you have a little bit of a higher penetration because you have 150mm instead of 145 and on the Cromwell you have a better reload time, you have around 4.8, 4.9 seconds and here around 5.2 seconds. That's the main difference, that's why the gun of the Cromwell is probably better. But oh boy, are we gonna check the armor profile and you're gonna see why this tank is lovely. Judging by the armor profile, a lot of you will see the similarities with the tier 7 German tank, the Panther. The main difference between both tanks is that on the Panther, as it got buffed, you actually have a little bit more armor on the turret, or especially on the side chicks, and also on the hull, uh, which is armored as well. On the Poodle, your whole armor is focused on two points. This armor here, which is spaced armor, and even if you only have, it seems like you only have 110 millimeters of penetration, it's still quite hard to penetrate for most tier 6. And also, your all armor, look at this, you have 137, uh, let's say 135, or no, you know what, 140 millimeters to round up. And it's not angled. Just imagine the armor when you angle. You don't need to angle that much because if you angle too much, your side armor is pretty weak and you also have a cupola there. So be aware of that. But if you come around the corner and you manage to hide all this part here and you show only this part, you can angle it as much as you want and you are going to bounce everything tier 8 included. That's what I love about this tank. Of course you still have the traditional weak spot at the front which is the lower part of the hull but also this little cupola there. But if you angle it correctly man you can bounce quite a lot and that's what makes it lovely because when you're facing tier 7 and and tier 6 most of the time yeah okay you might struggle bouncing all the shots except if they really go into the gun mantlet but as soon as you're in tier 5 you become impenetrable at the front this tank is gonna be a nightmare to face when you are in a tier 5 because you literally can't penetrate it except maybe the lower part but if he hides it and oh gosh do we know it's easy to hide the lower plate that is so small you are going to get completely destroyed. So that's the armor profile for you all. Uh, after for the rest, it's really easy to penetrate. I don't think tier 7 or um, or tier 6 actually have enough HE penetration to go through that. Expect maybe KV2 and Smasha and ISU-152 as well, but for the rest. But be aware that you don't have armor anywhere else. All your armor is located at the front. Now there is also that little part of the tank here which is quite hard to get actually, but you can get penetrated there and by tier six include, uh, tier five sorry included. So be aware of that and be careful when you're driving around. But as long as you know how to wiggle, you, you just wiggle and all down and when you're in all down you wiggle just a little bit your gun mantlet when you are reloading, it should be really fine for you. Now maybe concerning the last information you need to know about this tank, as you can see it's a captured panther by the Polish army. So I'm expecting this tank to already have a legendary camouflage that you can see right now on this screenshot that Wargaming shared on their official Blitz server. And I think it's really great that it looks historical because I love historical camos and that's all. For the moment we don't have any more information about the tank. I could talk a little bit about the mobility if you want. It's just a Panther 
you take the the mobility of the Panther, you reduce it to one tier lower, and basically you have this tank. It's gonna be a worse Panther in terms of mobility, but it shouldn't be a problem. I think it's still gonna be quite mobile and able to ram everything thanks to its great armor profile, but also how the tank is shaped. I wanna remind you that the more angled you are, the easiest it is for you to inflict damage to people when you're ramming them without you taking damage back. So it's going to be an hilarious tank to ram with and also an hilarious tank to have when you're facing tier 5s. I'm definitely hyped as hell for this tank because I know it's a quite popular tank in World Tank PC. So I hope it's going to be the same in Blitz just to change from the Cromwell Bs and the SU-100Y that we see nearly every single match. This video is now over, feel free to tell me in the comments what you think about this tank, if you're as excited as I am for it, and if you enjoyed, feel free to subscribe, like and share. See ya guys!